come through the airport and I'm at the MRT station so I've got my ticket and uh, yeah I'll be going on the underground to get into town and get to my hostel uh, but this airport is ridiculous guys like it's crazy so cool though uh, super looking forward to exploring Singapore now so uh, let's get the, on the MRT and get into town and see what's popping off Buggest station, sweet as on the MRT system, uh, which is so cool. It just reminds me of being in London. It's basically like the underground tube system, um, just in Singapore, which is awesome. So cheap, so easy to use and get around. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, exploring Singapore. So I'm going to chill out for the rest of the day and then start exploring later on and start exploring over the next couple of days. I think it's going to be a good couple of days here in Singapore so yeah uh, I'll go and get some food in a bit and uh, let's just see what there is to do here hello everyone uh, welcome back to Singapore it's dinner time now because I've been lazy this morning but it's all for a good reason I am super stoked GoPro I've sorted out my problems with my laptop so we're now fully functional again and I can catch up on my vlog so I'm hoping by the end of the weekend I've got my two vlogs caught up and they're both on YouTube, uh, so I'm super excited. It's currently raining here in uh, Singapore. I had a massive crash of thunder and lightning about 10, 15 minutes ago. It was pretty close. Uh, so yeah, I'm going for a bit of an explore today. Uh, hoping to get down to Chinatown and to the National Museum and learn a bit more about Singapore. Uh, and then over the weekend I'll be doing a lot more and seeing more of the city. Uh, as well as catching up on my vlogs. Uh, I'm super excited though and uh, I'm sure this rain's going to ease up pretty soon as well. Uh, so let's go and see what I can find. So I've just been in the National Museum of Singapore which is this building right behind me. Beautiful building. Uh, it was really interesting. Um, Singapore heavily, heavily, heavily relies on trade, even in its early, early years. And it was a real struggle for them at the start. And then when they formed independence from Britain after the Britain and the Japanese war in Singapore, they really shone through. And now it's such an incredible international city, which is so rich. And it's just unbelievable but today they still rely on trade it's got the second largest port in the world and one of the busiest ports in the world and just like as i said yesterday the airport's incredible there's a flight taking off and landing every 90 seconds in singapore which is just crazy which means there's over 6700 flights a week which is just madness and it shows how much that they rely on business and trade. Trade was absolutely essential in creating this country and building what it is today. Um, yeah, really interesting. So if you're in Singapore, definitely check out the National Museum. It was really, really interesting.
Chinatown, which is awesome, it's so cool. Uh, I've got some really good street food here as well. Um, so yeah, it's been great. Uh, a great little adventure. Um, so yeah, today's been awesome. I've been to the National Museum, which was great, learned loads. Uh, which is at Fort Canning Park. Uh, which I really enjoyed having a little look around as well and then I've been to Chinatown which was wicked and that's it for today I don't want to rush it and I don't want to do everything in one day um, because there's lots to see and lots to do and I've got the time to spread it out over a couple of days which is cool so I'm heading back to the hostel now and I'm going to chill out tonight uh, but I'll have a little explore on the way back too good morning everyone so yesterday I only really got a glimpse of the Marina Bay and it was only like the hotel that looks like a ship on top that I saw uh, and I'm now getting very close to it so I'm getting super excited um, yeah so I'm gonna go around the Marina Bay and then I'm gonna go to the Bay of Gardens and do all of that today um, super looking excited to it I've heard so many good things about it I've heard like it's just incredible uh, so I can't wait to see it and form my own opinion on it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited, so let's go and check it all out. So this is my first experience of the Marina Bay. <laughs> and wow, what a view of this city. It's just incredible. Look at it. Just fantastic. So that's the ship on top of the hotel, the Marina Bay Sands. And that triangle building above Maybank is a rooftop sky bar. Uh, I'll be going there later. It's called One Altitude and it's the highest alfresco bar in the world. So whilst I'm here, I've got to check out that out. Um, but yeah, this is just an incredible, incredible view. It's absolutely stunning. Marina Bay is totally awesome, guys. It's just amazing, I can't wait to see it at night when they have this live show and this water fountain show uh, and like, it's supposed to be amazing so I'm really looking forward to that so that's Marina Bay scene and now I'm heading to Gardens of the Bay for the day I'm going to explore all of that and try and get it all ticked off so uh, let's have a nice little walk down to uh, Gardens by the Bay Gardens by the Bay and I'm currently in the Super Tree Grove which is unreal and I've just been up on the skywalk the yellow bridge up there which was cool the views are amazing you could see right out to the bay which is over behind these trees over here and you could also see the city behind you which was wicked such a good view so I'm now gonna go and do the two other gardens um, inside the glass domes uh, go and check what they're about and then just have a walk around the rest of the gardens because this place is massive and there's loads to see 
uh, and I can't wait to see some more. And apparently there's a light show here at night, which I'm gonna go and check out. Um, that should be pretty cool seeing these trees lit up at night because they look awesome already, but I think they'll look even better at night when they're lit up. I've just been in the cloud forest and the flower dome and um, both of the glass domes and they were wicked they were so interesting and really factual and what I didn't know about gardens in the bay is that it is all renewable sustainable energy that is looking after and cleaning the park and watering all the flowers and developing it's all renewable and sustainable which is unbelievable and the whole setup of gardens by the bay and the both of the domes is teaching you about global warming and climate change and it's showing us that some of these plants that are on display in the years to come might not exist because of global warming and the fluctuation in climates and the changes and stuff so it's been really interesting and yeah I've really enjoyed it even the super tree grove uses sustainable energy just just incredible so innovative and such a cool place so I'm gonna walk around and see the rest of the gardens and then I'm gonna head back into the city uh, and get some food um, but yeah just a, such a beautiful place so tranquil so beautiful so quiet and peaceful yeah really really amazing place <laughs> I've come from the um, Bay of Gard Gardens at the Bay and I've come to the Marina Sands Bay Hotel and I'm on top on the 56th floor and the views are incredible. The world famous infinity pools just the other side of that gate though. Damn it. Now I didn't notice this this morning because I was in absolute awe of Marina Bay but check out this football pit. love for that to be my week in week out home pitch of the season and check out the view as well while you get to play for the game now who else wouldn't want that as their home pitch unreal i'm on an absolute ride mission now so i've had an absolute <laughs> wicked day looking around the marina and the gardens by the bay and on the way back to the hostel it absolutely started bouncing it down so i had to bunk it down get in a restaurant get some food once the rain lightened up, I went back to the hostel, had a quick shower, put on a shirt, some trousers and some shoes. And I'm now heading to one altitude rooftop bar, which is the highest rooftop alfresco bar in the world. It stopped raining and the clouds are breaking up, but there's every chance the rain could come back. So fingers crossed, they are open. I messaged them to ask, but they didn't respond by the time I was ready. So. I've just taken a risk, taken a gamble, and I'm going for it. If it's short, then I'll come back tomorrow. And then after that, I'm going to Raffles Hotel for a drink, but I'll tell you more about Raffles Hotel once I've been to One Altitude. But I really, really hope this is open because this is one of the main things that I wanted to do in Singapore. Go to this rooftop bar because it looked absolutely incredible. The good news is it's open, but I am 50 minutes early, so 
There's a couple of shopping centres around here, so I'm just going to chill in one of them. And then in an hour's time, go up to the top, and I'm going to try and be the first person in, because I'm only around the corner. I've just got to be the first one in. That'd be awesome. Well, I've just come for a walk around the corner, and there must be like some Ferrari drivers club in town. Oh my God, wow. Well, I found that at just the right time because now they've all gone and listening to them fire up and drive off was unreal. They all sounded amazing. But if you ask me, the 458 Italia sounded the best. And wow, just fangirling for a few minutes then. Unbelievable, great way to pass half an hour. Wow, uh, the life of the other half, eh? So it's six o'clock now, so I'm gonna go up and see if the uh, rooftop bars open at one altitude so we're now not open till 7 p.m because there's an event uh, for the first hour private party event thing so yeah i've got to wait another hour gutted so i made it inside to one altitude i'm now in like the bar slash nightclub bit uh, just check it out The rooftop bar doesn't open until half seven for this event, so when it opens, I'm going to go up and check it out. But look at this view. That was just incredible guys so i've just been on the 63rd floor which is the rooftop of the world's highest al fresco bar called one altitude in singapore downtown singapore next to the marina and wow the views are incredible so the reason why we couldn't get up till late today was because there's been a wedding there so it's been shut down privately because they've been having the rooftop for their dinner and for their speeches and so you couldn't get onto the rooftop until half seven quarter to eight tonight which is fine the views were still absolutely incredible i've never seen anything like that before it was brilliant so i've only had one drink up there because it's all i can afford in singapore uh, but it was definitely 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 worth going up there to say i've been on the world's tallest rooftop bar unbelievable so now i'm heading to raffles hotel 
those of you who don't know about Raffles Hotel, it's where the cocktail Singapore Sling originates from. And it started there in 1915, so 101 years ago this cocktail started. But it's got a cool tradition. Um, people throw their shells from the monkey nuts on the floor and they used to sweep them up. But not many people were doing it and that many uh, shells were on the floor that they gave up trying to clean up 10, 15, 20 times a day. So they leave it until the end of the night and clear it all up at night. It is one of the only places in Singapore where littering is allowed, like littering is illegal in Singapore. So it's a pretty cool tradition and I can't wait to try the original Singapore Sling because I love gin, it's a great cocktail and yeah it'd be just really cool to see what the tradition's like from the original place at Raffles Hotel. So I'm heading over there now uh, and I can't wait, I'm really looking forward to it because that experience just then was like unbelievable man, it was so good. So if you're in Singapore make sure you get to one altitude because you'll never ever do anything like that again. It was like unreal. So I've just come out of the long bar at uh, Raffles Hotel and wow what an experience like drinking Singapore slings where they originate from with the original tradition of dropping your peanut shells on the floor and they're absolutely everywhere like the floor is just covered in peanut shells yeah fantastic and I've had an absolute unbelievable day in Singapore I've absolutely loved it so gardens by the bay the super trees both of the domes, so the flower dome and the forest cloud dome and Marina Bay and the rooftop bar and raffles, it's just been unbelievable. Yes, it's been an expensive day, but like, it's been worth every single penny. Like, when am I ever gonna experience these things again? And for a lot of people are thinking, oh yeah, it's expensive or this cost this amount of money and this cost this amount of money and X, Y, Z and blah, 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 blah. But for me, like money shouldn't be an issue. Like you're never gonna experience these things again. So whilst you're here, you've got to make every minute count and do as much things as you can do. And that's why I'm not bothered that I've spent a lot of money today because I'm potentially never gonna come back to Singapore again and it's just been absolutely unreal like i have loved every single minute and i've done everything that i want to do so tomorrow i'm gonna have a nice chilled out day and then i'm going on a tour tomorrow night with my hostel and then on monday i'm going to universal studios which i'm super stoked about so as you know i love theme parks and um, so yeah singapore has been wicked so far uh, i'm going back to the hostel and we're gonna get a good night's sleep so I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Good morning everyone. So last night I went on this wicked tour around Singapore. So at my hostel, they do this free push or kick scooter tour. So you race around the city on push scooters all night. And then they take you to Gardens by the Bay to see the Super Tree music and light show, which was like so cool. And then they took you down to the Marina Bay to see the laser and water fountain show, which was awesome. They made like a screen out of water and projected like film images onto it. It was so cool. And they had fountains and lasers. And then you get some food as well whilst out on the tour. It was just wicked. So I've got up nice and early today. Heading to the MRT system, I'm going to Sentosa Island to go to Universal Studios. As you know, I am super pumped and super stoked because as you know, I love theme parks. So I'm at the MRT station now and it's time to get myself to Universal Studios. everyone so I've had an absolute wicked day at Universal Studios on the Sentosa Resort World Island it was class uh, some of the rides were fantastic and the Transformers ride was my favorite by far I went on that so many times uh, just the 3d effects the special effects and all linked into a roller coaster as well it was great the shows were fantastic as well and the park was just really good I really enjoyed it and the advantage of being here on my own is I got in the single ride queues which meant I could get to the front of the queue just about all the time so I went on every roller coaster two or three times and just really had a great day I've really really enjoyed it and it's been a great way to end my time here in Singapore so I'm going back to the hostel now uh, I need to pack and get ready for tomorrow because I'm flying to Bali so yeah, I'm super stoked and uh, can't wait to get to Bali now. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go back, pack, hopefully get my Singapore vlog up on YouTube. And uh, the next time I'll see you, we'll be in Bali. So thanks for watching and see you all in Bali next week.